A city in California erases their Black Lives Matter mural after a Trump supporter demands to paint MAGA 2020 on the same street. In this video, we're going to take a look at the massive backlash that's going on all across the country against the fabricated hype surrounding the Black Lives Matter movement and how that backlash is erasing and defacing BLM slogans and murals quite literally everywhere. You're not going to want to miss this. Greetings everyone, Dr. Steve here with you, coming to you from the beautiful Outer Banks in North Carolina. I'm here with my family having a wonderful time. I certainly want to make sure we still get plenty of our videos in, analyzing current events, analyzing some super awesome conservative trends, so we can all live in the present light of even better things to come. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. It'd be an absolute privilege to have you as a regular part of this channel as we daily celebrate the inevitable collapse of left-wing globalism and, yes, the unstoppable rise of a new conservative age. Now, before we dive in here, let's give a huge shout-out to the sponsor of this video, and that's Prepper's Peak New Solar Water Heater. Now, with all the lockdowns that we've just experienced, the solar water heater can turn out to be our very best friend. Solar water heater is an amazing device. It allows you to heat and boil water outdoors using simply sunlight. It can heat water in as little as 30 minutes and it'll work anywhere the sun shines. You can use it to boil water, to cook noodles and rice and sterilize water for drinking. It's easy to clean. It can be used anywhere there's sunlight. And the best part is that if you click on that link below today, you'll get 15% off. So what can be better? Don't wait, click on that link below before they sell out and get your own Patriot Sun Cooker today. All right, gang, so let's dive right in here. Let's set the stage for a moment, shall we? We've been saying this now for the last several weeks. We are seeing nothing short of a massive backlash against Black Lives Matter and Antifa and the feckless Democratic leadership that has ceded their party over to these Marxist radicals. Now, I know it looked pretty hopeless in the beginning. Tucker Carlson was reporting it so well. It seemed like Black Lives Matter had suddenly overnight become the single most powerful political party in the nation. It was the weirdest thing on the planet. We all just woke up one morning only to be told by our mainstream Marxist media that the entire nation had become woke. There was this great awakening sweeping across our cities. The Democrats were embracing it, which was guaranteeing that they would be swept back to power as a result. We saw one feckless Republican after another hide under their desks, waiting for the leftist tsunami to run its course and dissipate. But remember, if you've been a subscriber to this channel, right, you know that we said immediately that these race riots were going to red pill more Americans than ever. We have studies that show that riots and acts of civil violence and destruction have the effect of making America more conservatives. As it turns out, riots do not win elections for the Democrats. An assistant professor of the Department of Politics at Princeton published a paper concluding that the political effects of riots consistently benefit the political right. We also knew that as the Democrats were throwing law enforcement under the bus, that the political right would get the police on our side. The police forces in our nation have indeed taken sides and as it turns out, it's not kneeling with the rioters and looters and the far left protesters and demonstrators like so many of the politically correct police chiefs, what they were doing across the country several weeks back. No, again, this it was all staged. It was all for the CNN camera so that these left wing activists disguised as journalists could continue to shove their BS down our throats that the world was going woke. We now know that was a lie. And we know that because the National Association of Police, which is the single largest national police organization in the country, they represent more than a thousand police associations, nearly a quarter of a million police officers, they have officially endorsed President Trump for re-election. They've turned their backs on sleepy Joe Biden, who they endorsed, by the way, Barack Obama back in 2012. Over two-thirds of their membership endorsed President Trump. So with this said, it was only a matter of time before reality came back and bit the left-wing activists disguised as journalists in our mainstream Marxist media. Americans do not want BLM. They don't want Antifa. They are not woke. 
Indeed, it's quite the opposite, and nothing is demonstrating that more than the continuous assault on BLM murals that are being defaced and erased across the nation. How is that, by the way, for a new slogan? BLM's running around spewing out defund and disband the police, right? Why don't we shout them down with deface and erase BLM? Deface and erase, because that is precisely what is going on all across the country. Now, the latest example comes from Redwood City in the Bay Area in California. You're gonna love this, this is so good. What happened is that a um, Redwood City resident got permission from city officials to paint a Black Lives Matter mural, the sign on their Broadway street. And of course, the leftist nuts in charge there were all for it. They were like, hey man, we'll even supply the paint, no problem. And so another city resident, a local real estate attorney named Maria Rutenberg, she thought to herself, hey, wait a minute now, if our street here has become a public forum, then why can't I paint a sign right next to this Black Lives Matter sign? Why can't I paint MAGA 2020? And so she went to her city officials and requested to paint the sign. And rather than give her permission, these cowards, these city officials just decided to erase the Black Lives Matter sign. They actually removed it in the middle of the night so as not to provoke any protests. So the Black Lives Matter sign is now gone from the streets of Redwood City, all because a Trump supporter stood up and said, hey, if you're going to turn these streets into a public forum, I want my interests represented as well. So now seriously, I want you to just think about this reaction by the city council there in Redwood for a moment. This is a district, okay, in the shadow of San Francisco, probably the most woke, you know, city on the planet. Did these city officials respond to this Trump supporter's request with the kind of self-righteous virtue signaling that we've come to expect from the hecklers disguised as reporters over at CNN? Did they say, no, 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 Black Lives Matter is a statement that rejects the kind of racism and bigotry and white supremacy that's emblemized by the MAGA 2020 slogan? Did they stand up for the supposedly great awakening going on all over our nation? No. <laughs> in fact, it was the complete opposite. They melted. These city officials folded in the face of the slightest bit of pushback and they erased the mural. It's simply amazing. And it only took a few weeks, literally days, for all the self-confident, self-righteous virtue signaling surrounding Black Lives Matter to completely implode. So much for the Great Awakening. Here's another example. If Redwood City is erasing their BLM slogans, New York City is getting them defaced. <laughs> Erase and deface, right? So now you may have heard about this. Fascinating. A black woman by the name of Bevelyn Beatty was arrested for dumping paint on the BLM street mural outside of Trump Tower. In fact, she live streamed herself doing the same thing to similar BLM murals in Harlem and Brooklyn. And instead of defund the police, her slogan is refund the police, which by the way, is the sentiment of most black Americans. Most black Americans oppose overwhelmingly defunding the police by a massive margin. It's perhaps the single most unpopular proposal in our national politics. Again, you, you'll never hear that from the mainstream Marxist media. And the reason that Bevelin is doing this is because she recognizes that BLM is an anti-Christian Marxist movement. And so she likes to post videos of her defacing these murals with the hashtag Jesus Matters. So she's not buying into this Marxist nonsense for a second. Now, we've talked about this in some of our earlier videos, but the simple fact of the matter is, is that the backlash against BLM has begun. And one of the primary ways it's manifesting itself is through the erasing and defacing of their own BLM monuments and murals all over the place. Which, of course, is just giving them a taste of their own medicine, right? If you're going to run around knocking down and defacing statues and monuments across the country, don't be surprised if your own monuments and murals get the same treatment. Across the pond in the UK, in the city of Bristol, Officials tore down the BLM statue that was erected where another monument had been standing for over a century, but vandals tore it down. And so they erected their own BLM monument 
<laughs> city officials tore it down and hauled it off in the dumpster after standing for less than 24 hours. In Cincinnati, Ohio, someone poured red paint all over a BLM mural outside the Cincinnati City Hall, and there were also skid marks defacing the mural. In the murder-ridden and crime-infested Chicago, a BLM mural was changed to read All Lives Matter. In Baltimore, the so-called artwork of school children that's supposedly decorating their elementary school's red brick walls, celebrating Black Lives Matter, it keeps getting erased. Someone keeps power washing the mural away. In Martinez, California, a couple was recently charged with a hate crime after they painted over the slogan Black Lives Matter that was just an hour earlier painted on a street there in Martinez. In Cleveland, a Black Lives Matter mural that stretches across Cleveland's East 93rd Street was recently defaced with painted slogans such as BLM is Marxist and stop killing each other. In Montpellier, Vermont, a BLM mural outside the state house was vandalized just hours after it was finished being painted. The mural was actually smeared with several gallons of dirt and oil. Gang, we could go on and on and on. More and more people want absolutely nothing to do with this rabid, radical, ethno-tribalist Marxist movement called Black Lives Matter. There's just no way around that. No amount of virtue signaling or hypocritical moralizing from our mainstream Marxist media is going to change that backlash. So much for the great awakening. <laughs> Now, before you go, you will definitely want to check out my video. I just uploaded it on the Trump supporting company, Red Bull, the energy drink. They just fired a bunch of their woke executives who wanted the company to embrace Black Lives Matter. This is going to absolutely make your day. So make sure to click on the link and I will see you over there. God bless.